Hey guys, Jerry teaches Chinese here. So today we're gonna explore another song by Jay Chow, Zhou Jilun, and Fan Wenshan, the lyricist. This song is called Qing Hua Zi, and it's basically about a porcelain. Qing in Chinese is a color that's in between blue and green. So maybe you can call it cyan. I like to say teal, but I think the direct translation of Qing is cyan. I don't know. The point is, it's a kind of bluish green color. So Qinghua Zi, Zi is like porcelain, and Qinghua, Hua means flower, but in this case, it kind of means the design, the pattern. So Qinghua Zi. Now, I will translate the chorus because usually the chorus is the most earworn part. <laughs> So the first thing I want to tell you guys is this is a very hard Chinese song to learn. In fact, I resisted it for so many years. So don't feel like it's hard. I don't ever want to learn it because I did that. But I'm telling you, if you break it down, you can learn it. So that's the first thing to tell you. Now, if you guys want a full breakdown of the entire song, I can do it. It's going to take a while because it's a tough song. He really went into Chinese culture. So anyways, the first line, 天青色. 等,烟雨,而我在等你 So, I remember when I first heard the song, I, I remember not understanding anything. So, I'm just going to break it down for you guys. The first word in this chorus is 天. 天 means sky, for those of you who know some basic Chinese. So, 天, that's sky. 青, we've already explained. 青 means like a cyan type of tealish color. So, 青色, 色 means a color but in another context it can mean like someone who's really dirty who's really perverted but not in this case so tianqingse the sky is a cyan type of color dun dun for those of you who follow my channel i think i've talked about this dun means like wait so the sky is a certain color the sky is a cyan color and it's waiting what is it waiting for this word yin is a word I was not familiar with. So, yu, of course, means the rain, but what is yin? So, yin by itself means smoke. So, smoky rain, basically like a misty rain, like a small kind of drizzly rain. So, the sky is currently blue, it's currently cyan, but it is gonna waiting or gonna rain, a little small drizzly misty rain. R, R means like but. R is kind of one of those words, but, um, or sometimes it can mean since if you if you use it in the right context. So, wo for those of you who know basic Chinese, wo means I. Zai, zai is like I'm here or I'm doing something. Sometimes zai can be like a gerund. So, dun, you already know, means wait. And then ni, ni is like you. So, okay, the sky is cyan or that kind of blue and it's waiting for the misty rain and but or and doesn't matter i am waiting for you so that's the first line of the course second line this is a tricky word tree tree is not the normal tree that we're used to the normal tree that we're used to is the one with the mouth shape right so this does not mean blow this is a radical of the fire so tree yin niao niao tree yin niao niao what does tree yin niao niao mean Tree and no, I'd look this up. I didn't know. Tree and no, is an ancient Chinese word. It means smoke rising up from your chimney. So, tree and no, no. The next word's a good verb. Shen, shen means like rise up. So, shen qi a lot of times is used together. It's like rising up. So, someone can rise up like this, like they can get up, or something like if you raise a flag or something. So Jiang is a term for a river. You guys, I think if you follow my channel, you've learned that. Gu uh, means like a distance or some, basically it's an indication of a distance. So So for those of you who 
follow my other channel, you know, the Chinese measurements, it doesn't go by thousands, it goes by ten thousands. So the Chinese unit for ten thousand is one. So qian wan, qian wan, thousand times um, ten thousand, that's ten million. So you don't have to exactly say ten million, I mean, it's just saying the distance is very far. It doesn't actually explain whose smoke, right? Whose smoke from their cooking fire. It could be the person singing the song, or it could be the person that he or she misses. So that's something interesting to note, but that's just overanalyzing. So, 在平地书克立访前朝 the Yi. This is probably the hardest line because there's so many words that are just not used in modern Chinese. So zai, a lot of you know, it's like here or within. So that's an easy one. Ping di, ping is like a bottle, but in this case, because we're talking about porcelain, it's the porcelain, the bottom of the porcelain. Di means the bottom. So the bottom of the porcelain. So in the bottom of the porcelain, now here's here's the hard part. Shu ke li fang. What the heck is shu ke li fang? So, Shu means book, but of course it's not talking about book here. Um, shu can also be used to indicate like a writing or carving. So that's probably what it's saying here because Shu Ke, ke means carving. Um, li, Li is a word that I've never seen until the song. Li is very likely Li Shu. So it's, it's related potentially to the previous word. Li Shu was an um, ancient Han dynasty, so a very old Chinese dynasty kind of book. The word Fang, in this case, can mean imitation, although maybe not. The reason why I think Li is talking about that old Chinese book is because Qian Chao, it mentions the next word, Qian Chao. Qian Chao means like a previous dynasty. And you use this word Li that's often paired with Li, Shu. That's what I'm thinking. It's talking about something. now. I get a feeling also it's talking about specific pattern designs on porcelain. For example, the first line, Tian Qing Se Den Yan Yu, I'm sure is actually potentially a pattern on a porcelain. Same thing with um, Chui Yan Niao Niao Shen Qi, that's potentially another pattern. This Li Ke Shu Fang or something could be a pattern too. So just something to think about. Now, what's Piao Yi? Piao Yi. Piao means float, but in this case, Piao Yi means elegance. Something carved or some kind of design in the bottom of the porcelain is elegant and it's mimicking something, a previous dynasty's design or some kind of thing from a previous dynasty. Basically, it's mimicking culture. The most important part of this last line, and it's a line that's tripped me up before, that's the most important thing, which means meeting you or encountering you. Fu bi is a word I didn't know, but fu bi means foreshadow. So very likely these two lines are playing off each other, but basically he's saying it's a foreshadowing of me encountering you or meeting you. And I think if you really analyze it, it's comparing the kind of the imitating the old kind of culture, the old thing from from old dynasties in the porcelain to the foreshadowing. So one's looking back in time, one's looking forward in time. You see, there's like a time play here. That's why these two lines are kind of, you have to look at them together. <laughs> The sky will cry its blue as I wait for you the ashes from my fire, million miles from you. Imitation, elegant porcelain antique, foreshadowing the day we will meet. 
I hope this wasn't too confusing. If it is, it's okay because again, the lyrics are not meant to be understood by 12 year olds. They put a lot of work into this song. So this is very advanced Chinese and I'm not gonna pretend I knew everything or even still know everything about the lyrics. It took me a while to figure the lyrics out. So this was Jerry Teaches Chinese. I will show you the song again. Thank you so much for tuning in. More lessons, more breakdowns of Chinese songs to come. Bye-bye.